welcome you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS. This afternoon from Tigers Stadium in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, one of the great scenes in all of college football, Death Valley, and the LSU Tigers at home for a game of some significance in the SEC. From the east, the Georgia Bulldogs 6-1. and one. From the west, LSU, the defending national champions. Arizona State, I suspect Georgia will give everything today. This is, we should see the real Georgia team today. Blair Walsh will kick off for the Bulldogs. This will be returnable along the far sideline. Holiday's got world-class speed. And he's bumped out of bounds at the 37-yard line. When Johnson, the fullback, is one of those split wide to the top of the screen. Nobody's covered up here. Laid it, laced by Bird out to the outside. C.J. Bird moves over. Lee drills it. Intercepted. Picked off in the middle by Daryl Gamble. He gets a block. There are no flags. Touchdown, Georgia. Very reminiscent of the Auburn game for Jared Lee. When he lobbed one out to the left, it was picked off and returned for a touchdown. Gamble read his resiliency. It will be tested early. Blair Walsh, extra point up and good. 40 yards. Allen. Oh, bet missed snap. Was not ready for it. Rip it out to Scott. He's got enough for the first down. Jarrett Lee was not ready for the twice or lost only two all year. They'll give it to Scott. And he bangs his way out across the 45 near the 47 yard line. Physical play. That's the goal. Two wides to the left side here. Saron Black with a good block. And the pass comes right. And that's Chris Mitchell. That's good for a first down. At the 40. First and five. Scott. He's known for his power at the end of the run. You saw a great example of it right there. Pass of 100 yards, but he's been held in check the last two weeks. He gets the ball here, comes right inside the 15, inside the 10. This type of screens in the situation a year ago. Got a brief glimpse of Willie Martinez, defensive coordinator. Here's Lee. There it is. The, the screen. screen inside. He gets a block. LaFell with a touchdown. Everybody has an M.O. The, the senior from Grapevine, Texas. The extra point is perfect. That pulls him. Bless you, Express. Fourth defensive ends in the game. And they blitz. Stafford. Drills it, Look got it. This. this was perfect. Catch is made by Michael Moore, number 80. Second down and five. Stafford with time. Man open at the 41 yard line. Catch is made by. Stafford's pass complete. Comes near side. Massacre with the catch. Got on the ladder and made the grab at the 27. Other is in motion. Chappas leads the way from Marino to the 11-yard line. That's a first down. This is such a confidence builder. We showed you how this... Back two fullbacks in. That's Sutherland in motion. No, it's Chappas. They give it to Sutherland. Touchdown, Georgia. What a drive. In, uh, in the uh, in-depth preparation we did for this <laughs> ball game, Fred and they'd be third. So, you know, they're, they're right there. They're, they're closing in, and that was great pressure right there on Lee. Richard Murphy is in alongside Jarrett Lee. Three-man rush. Murphy gets the handoff, slips, and is down. Tried to make his cut, so it will be fourth okay. down. Toss, left side. Marino. How about that nifty little move? 
all the way to the 25-yard line. Jai Eugene, the king now behind him. They'll give Marino a chance to catch his breath. Play fake, Stafford. Right down. Oh, my oh, yeah, gosh. Yeah, Had a yeah. little speed on it, didn't he? Did. Wow. Here comes the blitz, and there goes the fade. And it is a touchdown, Georgia. See, that's a veteran quarterback. You live with a guy as a freshman. He sees the blitz, and he goes to the next bet. That is wonderfully coached and wonderfully excellent. Ian Hatch are roommates, good friends, and they will rotate throughout the game. Here's Lee. Got it to Richard Murphy. He's got some room and space. First down across the 50. The tackle made at the 44. That Gary Croton, the offensive coordinator. Been here a couple of years. Here's the handoff, and it comes left. It's Murphy. Murphy inside the 35, less mile, and 11. Remember it was the draw last time, but it's plus territory. They'll throw. Lee does. Oh, boy, he was just it's about picked in interference. off. Interference. It's going to be interference. Yeah, Asher Allen nice. grabbed. Here's scoring lead at LSU. This is from 51 yards away, and it is... LSU brings four. Stafford across the middle, yep. caught by Marino, and he's short of the first down. Yeah, very conservative. No need to have a turnover right here when you're leading like this. And Lee still has it. Lobs it out, caught by Dixon, the tight end. Wide open at the 40. He gets out to the 47. Dixon does such... Charles Scott is the tailback. Scott gets it on the sweep to the left. He's got Helms out there, and Helms with a great block. Offensive linemen love it when they deliver that block. Mark. Terrence Tolliver is on the field. Lee goes inside for Bird. Bird breaks a tackle, breaks another. Heads for the corner. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. This is just spectacular by Demetrius Burke. Andrew Hatch, the running quarterback, is in for LSU. Bats in the eye. Scott, the deep back. That's Johnson, the fullback, cheating and then leading the way. And it's a touchdown as Scott strolls in. Charles Scott's ninth touchdown of the year. Colt David's extra point is up and good. It's good. Out of the spread, third and 11. No more playing safe in this game. You got to go for it. Stafford. Oh, oh picked oh, off. Oh. Chad Jones had it slip right through his hands. Well, Jones is a baseball player, but... And it's Lee. He'll roll to his right. Pulls up off his back foot and throws that one dangerously into trouble. Uh, it's intercepted. Rashad Jones got it. I, this was a baited play, and I don't quite get what they were trying to accomplish for LSU. First, we'll show you later, there's a lot of teams alive. Second down, Stafford. Reverse comes right. This is A.J. Green into space. Still in bounds, and finally tackled inside the 40-yard line. Get the ball to start the second half. That is a gain of 22, and a first down at the 39s. Stafford with a toss. Marino comes right. Good job of uh, holding him up by Kevin Shepard. Kelvin Shepard. And then Coleman came up. Stafford knows it. Gets blocking. Goes left. Incomplete or goes right. Intended for Massaqua. 50. This will come from 50. Brian Mims is the holder. Got it. Georgia brings three, Screen one pass. of whom knocks it down. See, it really cost them there. Justin Houston got a hand up, and so that stops the clock with 40 seconds. Blitz. Massaquah has it very close for the first down. I think he got it. 
read it beautifully. It was a corner blitz. And the vet Out of the scrap. Quick flip right side. Good block by A.J. Green. And the pass is complete across the 50. Kenneth Harris, number 88. LSU will come up in press coverage on the corners. Stafford with a play fake. He is blitzed. He goes deep. A.J. Green. That's going to be a Georgia touchdown. They blitzed him, and they went to A.J. Green. You can almost feel it coming. 49-yard touchdown. Got Ty in, Eugene. Yeah, got inside. He was... Matthew Stafford. Here's the kick from Walsh. Up and good. It's good. To see a little more hatch here as the game goes along. Prince Miller is deep to return the punt of Josh. No faked it. Oh, they faked it. He goes left. Well, this is reminiscent of LSU Florida here a year ago when Miles went for the first down five. not to attend when Croton was fired. He wound up at Harvard for JV ball one year. Right side on first down, Scott. Rennie Curran, number 35, with the tackle. There to provide blocking help on this play. Hatch slips a little bit, but he finds Demetrius Bird. Successful You're right, Gary. Play. Absolutely. Play. That will set them up for the field goal. Now it's almost a, what, 49-yard field goal? 49. He's made one from 51. Here's Colt David. Nope. Wide right. How about that? Down. Stafford with the audible. Here's the toss, Marino. So patient. And he breaks loose. He does not have great speed. And he's in a foot race and is not caught from behind. Touchdown, Georgia. Holy cow. A touchdown in the books at 80 yards. Blair Walsh's extra point is up and good. Readjust and then accelerate. Terry Beckwith got out of whack. He got too wide. The coaches told us we want to play everything inside out and force Marina wide. They didn't do it. Gas them for seven points. All in a different play. Georgia is not adjusting. They like their defense. The handoff goes to Scott, breaks up the middle, breaks a tackle, got a chance. No, the knee came down. Oh, no, they said touchdown. I thought his knee hit at the one. The Brett Helms, the center. Handoff, Scott, left side. Moot point. Touchdown. Well, they got seven back cards on the ground today. And Colt David with the extra point. Hooks it inside the left upright. It is good. And with 2.47 to go. He'll throw on first down. Goes across the middle. Oh, my gosh. Out to the 45-yard line. The 50, the 45, and Aaron, Aaron White makes his first catch of the year. Inside, A.J. Green can't break the tackle. This would be, I think, too long for a field goal. This is from 55. It can be run back. Walsh, no. Mark wanted those three points so bad. He could taste it. Ten, Andrew Hatch in the spread. Four-man Georgia rush. Hatch forced to his left. Flag is down. This one will be declined if it's offensive holding, which I think it will be. Lomax and Jarius Wynn get there. The, they need one now. Yep. It's 2-0 in this game. Two interceptions by the Bulldogs. Here's the toss. Marino goes left. Sutherland helping him. Gets a block on Shepard. 
And Marino is out to the uh, 50 and then down to the 45-yard line. You want to win tiebreakers at the end of the year, you got to win those non-conference games. Out of the spread, Stafford. Oh, he's got A.J. Green all by himself at the 20. Hit from behind by McCray and down at the 11. Mike Bobo is having the game of his life. Remember those little wide screens they've been... Remember he had the quarterback draw earlier in the game. Four-man rush, boy, is the quarterback draw. Touchdown, Georgia. We saw it last year. You just know they can't gamble. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> do you Do you get embarrassed at all when you call? I disagree. <laughs> That's the reason our crew calls him Nostradamus. Nostradamus. Lee pulls up, lobs it for Keelan Williams. Oh, man, what a play. Yes, indeed. One man can get him. Williams. That one man got him. It's Byron Evans. Knocked him out of bounds. Had the angle. He's out of bounds at the six. That's a 66-yard gain. Lee is back. Flips it out to Williams. He's got two blockers in front, and he's in for the touchdown. Tane over. Oh, no. Oh, Tane over. No way. Plenty of time. Cole David on for the extra point. Up and good. 21. Fourth down. Raheem Alem with another big defensive Les play. Les is trying to call timeout. He can't get the attention. Jarrett Lee out of Brenham, Texas. And the handoff. Oh, man. Oh, look at this. boy. People listening on their transistor radio. That's a little out. down seven. Lee drills it. Caught. Dixon, first down, LSU. At a fourth and five, trailing by 14. They're coming at him. Lee, off his back foot. Is there a flag? There is not. They came at him. Wow. See if this play is designed for him. It is not. Guess who's got it? Stafford put it in Caleb King's stomach, pulled it out, ran left. Yep. Stafford. And, and, and LSU will take their timeout. 2.06. Three-man rush. Lee. Oh, boy. Intercepted by Gamble. That's his second of the day. He's got a convoy as he heads left. Chased by Big Herman Johnson. He is in for the touchdown. Two interceptions for returns and touchdowns for Daryl Gamble. Tampa 2 is what this is called. Jared Lee misread it. He thought it was double zone. Tempted they meet pretty soon. I've heard the rumor that they will meet in Jacksonville next Saturday afternoon. What a win from stop the run and we're not going to win. And they didn't do it. Here's Lee, left side. Brandon LaFell. Whoa! He's going to score for LSU. 43-yard run. This is getting ridiculous. Well, a George is just ready to go in. And some tackles. Colt David for the extra point. Up and good. And here comes the onside kick crack. And at the line of scrimmage all day. Takes a knee, and we've got 15 seconds to go. This one <laughs> is in the books. Mark was upset because he wanted him to kind of... And uh, five seconds to go. This will be the final play of the game. Here's Lee back. Most of the LSU fans long gone. Here's LaFell with a lateral. Demetrius Bird. And a lateral again, and he's out of bounds. Perfectly executed, but 12 yards short. And uh, those who stayed came all the way dressed in red. They didn't have the greatest seats in the house, but they enjoyed it. Mark Rick, Les Miles, center of the field. And now it's time for the five-star play of the game presented by Wrangler with the call. Scott Howard of the Georgia Radio Network. Dogs with a four-man front. Shotgun snap to Lee. Looks to the left. It's intercepted! Intercepted by Daryl Gamble! Gamble at the 30, at the 20, breaks the tackle! Touchdown! Scott Howard, who uh, has replaced the legendary Larry Munson as the voice of the Bulldogs. Georgia wins it big time.
comes into Death Valley and knocks off LSU the final 52-38. Next week, we'll be in Jacksonville, Florida, Georgia, meet again. For Gary Danielson and Tracy Wolfson, Bern Lundquist, good night from Baton Rouge.